السلام علیکم ایوری ون انجمن اسلامس اے اے کھٹکھٹے انگلش سیکنڈری اسکول واشی ویلکمز یو ٹو اے لیسن آف جوگرفی اسٹینڈرڈ سکس چیپٹر ون پارٹ ون دا نیم آف دا چیپٹر از دا ارتھ اینڈ دا کریٹیکیول اینڈ مائی نیم از شارمین شیخ کین یو آل ٹیل می what is this that you see here yes it is the earth earth is our planet have you all ever wondered what is the size of this earth the size of our earth is measured in two ways north to south and east to west from north to south our earth measures 12714 kilometers and from east to west it measures 12756 kilometers now how can we locate a place on the earth for example if i want the taj mahal delhi or india on the earth how can we find it come let's see oh little bear can you locate the spain on the globe Oh, I know. It's difficult. Never mind. I know it is very difficult to locate a place on the map. But we have a trick to that question. So in today's episode, let me give you an answer to that question. What are latitudes and longitudes? But first, Let's start with, can you tell me what is this thing that you see on the screen? Yes, that is a globe. Because we can't go on the earth's surface and locate a place, the geographers had invented a miniature model of the earth known as the globe. Can you see the lines on the globe? Those are imaginary lines known as latitudes and longitudes. The horizontal lines are latitudes and the vertical lines are your longitudes. The latitudes and longitudes together form and become a net-like structure on the globe known as the graticule. With the help of this graticule, we can easily know the coordinates of a person or a place. Now let me tell you what are coordinates and how they can help us in finding the accurate location of a person or a place. Latitudes are imaginary lines carved on the globe that run from east to west and they are parallel to the longest latitude that is the equator. Can you all see in the second picture there is a red line drawn. That is the middle latitude known as the equator. The equator divides the globe or the earth into two parts. Northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. These latitudes are measured in terms of degrees. The longest latitude that is the equator measures zero degree. And from the equator till up the north pole we have all the degrees from one degree till the 19 degree. On the other hand, the latitudes below the equator measure in minus degrees until the south pole, minus 1 degree till minus 90 degrees. Now let's have a look at the other imaginary lines. Those are the longitudes. These longitudes start from the north pole, move apart at the equator just to meet again at the south pole. They also measure in degrees and the longest line of the longitude is the prime meridian. This prime meridian separates the earth into western and eastern hemispheres. Now the vital question is how are these lines helping us? What do these lines do? What can we do with these latitudes and longitudes? Let me help you with that. These latitudes and longitudes help us in accurately determining the location of a person or a place. The degrees that we see that are given to the latitudes and longitudes, they are known as the coordinates of the place. 
when we have the particular coordinate or the degrees of a location then we can determine the location of a place so wasn't all that fun and easy to learn i hope you all understood everything about latitudes and longitudes